thank you so much. Gosh, it's just great to be here. Let me begin by reminding you of my background. I'm the oldest of six kids in a family that was middle class until my father lost his job. And then I was hungry and I was cold. Um, I went to work when I was 14. I went to college when I was 16. I graduated from law school when I was 21. And while I was in law school, I decided that my dream was to speak for those who would otherwise not have any voice. And that's the dream I want to take to Washington, D.C. Fifty years ago, fifty weeks ago, it seems like fifty years, but really it was only fifty weeks ago that we launched this effort to retire Chuck Grassley. He has been in public office for fifty two years. We can appreciate his efforts, but gosh, don't you think the guy deserves a rest? Let's give it to him. Over that 50 weeks, that seemed like 50 years, we held 200 town hall meetings. We've been to all 99 counties. I've met Democrats, Republicans, Independents. I even had some Tea Party people come to my town hall meetings, and they were very kind and very uh, not rude at all. And one of them voted for me. We learned a lot from all of you and from all of those that participated. As a nation and as a state, we have big problems. There's no doubt about it. But none of those problems is too great for us to solve together. Over the past several weeks, our campaign has announced plans to create jobs, to stimulate our economy, and to put cash in the pockets of middle-class families. We have found a way to cut spending and eliminate, eliminate the $1.3 trillion deficit, uh, a deficit run up by the Bush administration and Charles Grassley. Now, something, something to remember about the deficit is that today, today, it is $1.3 trillion, exactly the same as when this administration took over. Though they would have you believe that Democrats have gone on a wild spending spree on such things as, oh, I don't know, jobs, unemployment compensation. In fact, it was their out of control spending that has gotten us to this deficit, and it is to Democrats that they will look to get us out. As we've gone about the state, we have also talked about renewing our sacred promise to our veterans, and we will do that. We have, we've also talked about restoring our global leadership in education. Chuck Grassley, not so much. Uh, for 30 years in the United States Senate, he's been casting votes to make Wall Street happy, to make rich people richer, and to gut the middle class. Chuck? <laughs> he's, he's running his campaign like he's the Wizard of Oz. Um, pay no attention to the uh, man behind that multi-million dollar corporate PAC-funded TV ad curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind that curtain. Do, do you know that he has not done a single open public event since July? Since July. He has refused to stand before the people. He has refused to stand before the people and defend his record. Why do you suppose he's hiding? Perhaps he knows he cannot defend his record before the people of the state of Iowa. 
And every single time our campaign announces a new plan, Grassley responds with a personal attack on me, always filled with lies and distortions. He doesn't understand that this campaign is not about me. It's about the people of the state of Iowa. It's about you. It's about your families. It's about your future. He doesn't understand that because he doesn't believe it. What Senator Grassley never does is tell us how he plans to solve our problems because he intends to do what he's always done, the bidding of the PACs and the corporate lobbyists. I won't take their money. Frankly, the corporations haven't tried to give me any money. Uh, <laughs> I want to be beholden only to the people of the state of Iowa. He's voted again and again and again to give tax breaks to corporations to ship our jobs overseas. I would vote no and I will make it my priority to fix that perverse public policy. He says the way to create jobs is to reduce uncertainty for the business community. How? Repealing health care. That's how giving tax breaks of $700 billion to millionaires and billionaires, and of course, eliminating all the regulations that keep us safe. That's it, and that's all. But we tried that already for eight very long years. And what did it get us? What did we get for following those kind of policies? It created zero net jobs and increase the divide between the rich and the rest. And it drove our economy off a cliff. I have a real and a detailed plan to create jobs, good jobs, jobs that you can support your family on. He wants to privatize Social Security. Now I have to tell you, he has changed the way he describes it. He doesn't say privatize anymore. He says personalize. But it's the very same thing. Don't be fooled, it's the very same thing. What the guy wants to do is take Social Security money and give it over to the geniuses on Wall Street. I say, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. I'll protect it, I'll defend it. No more decreases in benefits. No more raising the retirement age. He has voted against the minimum wage again and again and again. I worked for the minimum wage. I support it. Indeed, I believe that anybody who works full time in the United States of America shouldn't be on food stamps. I support a living wage. Of course, he voted for NAFTA and CAFTA and all of the other one-sided trade agreements that's cost us thousands of Iowa jobs. We need to stop being international patsies. We need to stand up for Iowa workers, for our own companies, for our own jobs. We need to stand up for America. And I, I, want that those, I want those using our tax dollars to buy American. He wants members of the LGBT community to be second class citizens. I signed a brief filed with the Iowa Supreme Court in the Varnum case. And when they unanimously decided in our favor, I was proud of Iowa and I was proud of them. So 
let's keep him. Turn your ballot over and vote yes to retain those courageous justices. If you send me to Washington, I will fight to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I will fight to repeal DOMA, and I'll fight to end, end discrimination in employment. How does Charles Grassley feel about reproductive freedom? I represented a 12-year-old raped by her grandfather. I represented another teenager whose father committed incest against her for three years. If those crimes had resulted in pregnancy, Charles Grassley would require those victims to bear their attacker's babies. That is extremely radical. That's an extremely radical anti-choice position. I am proudly pro-choice. I want abortion to be safe, to be rare, but to remain legal. And finally, he votes to let big corporations and billionaires, and maybe foreign nations and foreign corporations, to give millions and millions of dollars to groups that keep their contributions and their identity secret. Then they use those anonymous contributions to run false attack ads against Democrats all over the country. I say, no, no, no to secret contributions trying to buy our elections. We, we have a right to know who's giving money to who, and, and then we can figure out what they're buying. This is our country, not theirs. It's not for sale, and we will fight to save it. I love Iowa. There's always been a sense that we're all in this together. This is a place where farmers really do bring in the crops of another who has gotten ill. That really happens in Iowa. This is a place where perfect strangers get in their cars and drive all across Iowa when the rivers rise to help. This is a place where we teach our children about the promise of tomorrow because we believe in the promise of tomorrow and we intend that it be kept. We in the Democratic Party, we who've struggled for decades to extend the American dream to all of society, we may have stumbled at times. We have disagreed among ourselves. We've had some truly sensational fights. But each time we've risen, we've regrouped, we have come back united and strong to build on what we have begun. And this year, we'll stand together again. This year, we'll defend the dream. And this year, two weeks from now, we will prevail. Thank you.